I usually start by saying hello, but I should say congratulations to a newlywed. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so your character's married now. You're part of the family. How does it feel to be part of the world's number one drama? Well, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's been such an incredible experience. Um, it, it, it's a wonderful group of people to be part of. It's a wonderful project to work on. Um, yeah, it's just it's absolutely amazing. So how did you end up there? How did you get into the Downton Abbey world? I, it's just, just through casting, another casting. <laughs> um, you turn up and you do the business every time, and this time it went the right way, which is, you know, hugely fortunate that it was on this job. I have to wonder, were you a Downton fan beforehand? Um, I'd seen some of it, but I hadn't watched the whole thing. I mean, I, I knew Michelle, who plays Lady Mary, and Laura, who plays Lady Edith. I knew them previously, and I've known a few other people that have been on this as well. Um, so I, I, I'd, I'd seen bits of it, um, and obviously it's, it's fantastic, but I'm not very good at um, keeping on top of television <laughs> that comes out on a, on, on a regular basis. I kind of generally wait until there's a substantial box set to watch. Um, but then I didn't need to because I got onto the show. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, you are too busy making it to be watching it, I guess. Well, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Very nice to be here. So tell me a little bit about when you find out you have a character in a show like this, what do they give you coming in? Is it just that first script? Is there a character study? Yeah, so it's, it's literally the bare minimum. Um, I, in terms of um, when I started filming, I basically had the information that I had to go on when I cast for it, um, which is a very small bit of blow about the character and the scenes that are in the first episode, because they hadn't uh, released the following scripts yet. So um, episode five, you know, I had episode five for, I think, a month before we saw episode six and seven. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, so I had a chat with Julian Fellows um, and kind of picked his brains about it because obviously with the whole Jewish line and everything, there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff to kind of get your head around. Mm -hmm. um, and we talked, we talked a lot through it, but, uh, but that was it. So how early on did you know your character was going to like cake? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, was in the, that was one of the audition scenes. <laughs> we want to make sure that the hashtag I love cake takes off. That's our big goal now. <laughs> I'll get it, um, you know, chiseled onto my tombstone when I die. <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to escape it. Talking about <laughs> escaping things, so they're going to begin work soon on the next season. Will we be seeing Rose and her new husband in the new season? We will have to wait and see. Oh, you're not going to tell me anything. Is, is the truth. Well, but to, okay, so I'm not, I'm not there um, at the very beginning because we've gone away to New York. Um, ah. But and, and 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 the rest of it doesn't exist yet, so it, it really <laughs> is a, a case of a case of wait and see. Well, um, Matt, thank you so much for joining us and for chatting with us. It's such a pleasure. And we really, all really really love to speak to you. Well, we all love cake too. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Cheers, Eddie.